Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today's video is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale versus the Ferrari 296 GTB. Now I know that the SF90 really is on a whole other level to the 296 GTB, but I think it would be interesting to see how they both compare, one being 8 cylinders and one being 6. Looks wise, the two look quite similar. The headlights, tail lights, the silhouette from the side of the car, the interior, and many more things. But for me, the biggest visual difference is how much more aggressive the SF90 looks. The SF90's road presence is so much more aggressive. Its lines and exterior features are more angular. Some people may even classify the SF90 as a hypercar, even though Ferrari never intended it to be that way. The SF90 is 1186mm in height, whereas the 296 is only 1mm taller. The SF90 is 1,972 millimeters in width, whereas the 296 is 1,958 millimeters. So there you go, the SF90 is lower and a fair bit wider, which a true modern supercar should be, low and wide. Something which both cars have in common is the exhaust pipes centered in the rear of the car. But the SF90 has two separate pipes, whereas the 296 has one big one. I absolutely love the scented exhaust pipes, but I can't choose which design I like better. Comment down below which you prefer. Another difference is how the SF90 is so much more aerodynamically focused. It has heaps more air vents all around the car, which does make sense because the SF90 has a bigger and more powerful engine. And that leads me on to my next part of on the video. Let's look at the engines and what kind of numbers do both cars make. We'll start with the 296, which has a 6-cylinder turbo engine. I never thought the day would come so soon. A new Ferrari V6. Along with that V6 turbo engine, the 296 has a 122 kilowatt electric motor. In the 296, you can drive in fully electric mode for up to 25 kilometers. The V6 alone produces 654 brake horsepower but produces an additional 165 horsepower from the electric motor, bumping up the total horsepower to 819. That's very, very impressive from a V6 and an electric motor. The SF90 has an 8-cylinder twin-turbocharged engine, which makes 769 brake horsepower, plus an additional 217 horsepower produced by its three electric motors, bumping up the total horsepower to a whopping 986. That means that the SF90 has 160 more horsepower than the 296, but remember this, the SF90 has an extra two cylinders, an extra two electric motors, and it's not turbocharged, it's twin turbocharged. That makes you realize that the 296 is incredibly powerful for what it's got. So you must be thinking now, with all those additional engine features, the SF90 must be a lot more heavy. Well it is. The SF90 weighs 1,675 kilograms, which is 205 kilograms heavier than the 296. Now back to the engine. The 296 does 0 to 100 kilometers in just 2.9 seconds, and does 0 to 200 kilometers in just 7.3 seconds. That's blisteringly fast. But you know what's faster? The SF90. It does 0 to 100 kilometers in 2.5 seconds, and 0 to 100 in just 7 seconds. The top speed of the 296 is 330 kilometers per hour, and the SF90 is 340 kilometers per hour. So yes, the SF90 obviously is faster, that is explained by the engine numbers, but the 296 is still very, very impressive nonetheless. The SF90 has already gone into production, whereas the 296 GTB hasn't. You can buy an SF90 from $846,888 Australian dollars, and the 296 GTB has a starting price of an estimated $423,600 Australian dollars. And yes, it will probably be heaps more expensive than that, but still a lot cheaper than the SF90. So that was my video on the Ferrari SF90 Stradale versus the Ferrari 296 GTB. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 400 subscribers by the end of the year. Stay tuned for next video.